all right guys so i want to quickly share with you guys how this strategy works for scalping the boom and crash market okay i shared the strategy um previously and i talked about how it works for catching spikes on the market and i also mentioned that i was going to show you guys how it works for scalping all right how it works for scalping so this video is going to be about how to scalp with this strategy all right but before we get um into that you can see here that um we you could have caught a lot of spikes all right if you try to um catch spikes with this same strategy if you watch the previous video you will see in details how it is used to catch spikes and on this screen um, screenshot right now on this chart right now i mean um you can see that there are a lot of spikes here and it happens just when the conditions i shared on the previous video just um um actually um was met all right so this video is particularly to show you guys how to um scalp the market all right how to catch a few candlesticks you can leverage your account in a way that will favor you of course you should know how to calculate your risk and all of that but you'll be able to catch a couple of candlesticks and take it out of the market before any spike comes to um take your profits away all right you would have been out before any spike comes to take your profits away all right so um first of all welcome back um to my channel welcome to 2024 i wish us a happy new year and um a profitable year um ahead okay so before we go deep down i need you guys to help subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet especially if you are new to this channel make sure you turn on your notification bell so that every other information that will be shared on here will come to you firsthand also i like to drop my whatsapp number on the description of this video and also the telegram our free telegram platform where we share free information free signals to people who are on there so you can just make sure you click on the free telegram link in the description area of this video and be able to join us there you don't want to miss that place guys it's a lot of information you will miss if you are not there all right so um join us join us join us share this video if you have been benefiting from our um our past um contents all right if you've benefited from any of our content you've been able to make profits from using our strategies and all of that please like um you'd like to share this video to show appreciation because this information we give out here is totally free all right i charge some people for this but i bring it on here for free for you guys for my subscribers to enjoy so make sure that you are a subscriber make sure that you share make sure that you like make sure that you drop a comment especially to talk about what next you want me to um talk about on the next content okay that will guide me that will help me know where you guys are having challenges and i'll be able to um help with uh, my um knowledge okay so uh i'll quickly show you guys the setup in case you didn't see the previous video so i'll show you guys the setup of this strategy we just need commodity channel index we need relative strength index and we also need moving average okay all of this will be on the indicator window one all of this will be on the indicator window one now if you don't have an indicator window one that means you've not added any indicator to your chart yet so you can just go ahead and add it when you add it to the main window when you add the first um indicator which is the commodity channel index the cci to the main window it would automatically create um an indicator window one for you and then every other indicator that you want to add next should come under the indicator window one that is for this strategy for this strategy all right for this strategy all right so it's very important that you always update your strategy unless you have one that is um still intact still working you know um these platforms these brokers they they get to um they get to upgrade their system every time make some changes and um all of that tend to affect <clears throat> some strategies that I, I must have or you would have seen in any other youtube channel so you just need to stay updated you need to stay updated that's why you need to always be on alert make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you get it when it comes all right so um for commodity strength commodity channel index we are going to be needing a period 14 apply to close we don't need levels so if you have any levels they should just clear it up all right i like to be on all time frames and also for style 
ensure that the color you use is the same as the background of your chart and um the pixel should be two pixel is fine all right you're done with this you just simply just click done and then you'll have it appear here you can see guys price is still pulling you can see how many candlesticks have been counted right from when price got to this point don't worry i'll explain that let's just conclude with the indicator settings yeah so you are done adding the community channel index you want to add your relative strength index all right with the period of six apply to close levels should be 10 and 90 this time you need levels 10 and 90 this time so you use that level and then the style should be visible on your screen i mean the color should be visible on your screen so if you're using a white background you need to be, you need to use dark colors on this particular um uh indicator and if you use uh a black background you, used to, you need to use bright colors so that it can be visible on your screen so two pixel is fine you simply just click done i'm feeling exhausted already guys i'm not feeling too well i've been i've been down for some time but i'm actually taking care of myself and um i'm recuperating fast i'll be very strong before you know it all right so um allow it to be on all time frames and uh remember to use the same color as the one on your background on this other part okay so you simply just click done two pixel is fine guys click done and you would have um the iris i mean the um cci lines the level cci lines here and here all right and then you have the moving average here these are already um already uh set up already that's why i'm seeing them on the chat so when you when you finish setting up that's exactly what you see all right so the moving average should be period four shift zero method simple apply to close levels is not needed allow it to be on all time frames use um the color that will be visible on your screen and you are done guys okay you are done all right so this is the crash 500 market and um we are trying to scalp so whenever um the moving average line comes to the dotted lines here your rsi level here then it it starts going back up it means you should buy at this level when it starts pushing back up from this level when this moving average comes to this level and then it starts pushing back up it means you should buy all right and then for catching of spikes this video is not about catching of spikes but you can see that whenever it gets to this side it sells especially um if the market is in a downtrend now look at this this is crash 500 yeah and for you to catch spikes on crash 500 you want to be selling for you to scalp on crash 500 you need to be buying now let me show you the secret guys if if you want to be successful if you want to catch spike success i mean if you want to scalp this market successfully all right you want to scalp this market successfully you need to always switch to a higher time frame you need to always see the direction of the market and make sure that it's going upwards all right now this is specifically for crash every crash market every crash market i'm using crash 500 here for example all right you need to always make sure that the market is going upwards it's very easy to tell a market that is going upwards let me show you an example of an upward trend uh i hope i find it of course you should always switch to a higher time frame to see that now this is a clear upward trend this is a clear upward movement okay the market is moving upwards at this point at this level at this level the market is moving upwards it's easy it's easy to spot it out all right it's easy to spot it out it's very easy to tell you can see now if this happens on the one hour time frame or the four hours time frame or the 30 minutes time frame as the case may be and then you happen to go to the one minute time frame and see price at your buy region right your buy region is the area i showed you on your indicator window one you can see what will happen again if you, if you look at it very well you see that the market is moving in a zigzag direction and it's pointing upwards it's going it's pushing to the upside so you just have to follow like that until it breaks out on either of the sides okay if it breaks out below then you, you should understand that the market is is now selling all right but if it breaks out above then you know that the uptrend continues 
this is easy this is very easy guys it's not as hard as some people make it seem and funny enough they're not even needing you just don't need to you just need, you only need to understand the trend you just need to see that the market is trending upwards if you want to scalp the crash market and you need to see that the market is trending downwards if you want to scalp the boom market it's very easy guys it's very easy so you switch to the one hour time frame and you you i mean one minute time frame and then boom here we go now look at how it happens whenever price comes to this level, whenever, the, whenever the moving average here comes to this level you can see it always goes back up right whenever it comes to this level it goes back up but you want to allow it to start pushing upwards so that you can be sure that it will go back up do you understand you, you need to be patient this is a game of patience all right when it starts moving upwards it starts in candlesticks count just allow one or two candlesticks to close and then you enter when you enter your sl should be below i know sl doesn't really count but then it's better you put it because it will help you just um reduce the loss somehow just don't let anybody tell you sl don't work for boom and crash you know always put your sl always put your sl now matter of fact let me just let me just explain why you should always put your sl now the spikes when they come you can see they come in multiples right they come they can come one two three at a time four sometimes right so you you if you if it spikes the first time and it doesn't respect your sl at least it will be taken out even if listen this is it let's say let's say your sl was somewhere around here right okay for this particular um let's let, let me explain using this particular place this particular place right now let's say you bought here and then your sl is just here right your sl is just here and then the market starts going upwards right start going upwards start giving you profit and you are greedy you don't want to take out profit after like five candlesticks you can see that like up to five candlesticks here and you are too greedy to take it out you want to make more money you want to make all the money in one day <laughs> that's fine people make a lot of money in a day though you just have to know what you're doing and then eventually it spikes and then boom you see this long spike if your sl was here good and fine this spike is going to take your sl down to the level where it stopped right here okay it takes it right here now in, in, imagine that you didn't put an sl and it stopped you right here and then the next thing another spike happens then another one happens right it means you lose more money but if your sl got dragged to this point and it takes and the market takes you out automatically then you are safe it's better off than having to experience two more three more spikes i don't know if you guys get it it's that easy guys so you always you always have to put your sl it's very important it's very important but um the essence of this video is just show you guys how to spike how to catch how to catch a couple of candlesticks by scalping and you can see that whenever price comes to this region and starts pulling back upwards it always just goes up all right it always just goes up it happens almost all the time here it happened there it happened again here right so it means this strategy is actually effective right it's a strategy that i've used and it makes sense it makes sense guys it makes sense just have to have a target you can see how how much of um the candlesticks were printed at this level all right so you just have to do the right thing all right follow the right procedures follow the right steps that i just explained and you'll be good guys you'll be good so if you have any question you have any um challenges you want to drop a comment and talk about it on the comment section or you want to also reach out to me on whatsapp you can also um contact me to be a part of our of vip platform where we share premium signals every day to premium members who are ready to make money all right so um be a part of us and you will never regret it. Take care of you guys. I will see you guys on the next video.